In this video, I want to review a trade that we talked about last week as a setup. And we were talking about families, and we were talking about following the leader and then trading the follower. This is corn. This is what corn's done over the last uh, oh, a few days since we put on that corn option uh, based on that information. I want to go back and I want to review that video that I gave to you before earlier so that you can see what I talked about, and then I'll bring you forward and I'll show you what we did here. In this video, I want to talk about following the leader. Now, we've done that in the past. We've talked about following the leader, and markets have a tendency to be in families, and one family member will lead the other, and then you can usually trade the, the, the follower. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to point out here, this is wheat, soybeans, and corn. Let's first look at wheat, as you see on here on the chart. This is the daily May wheat contract, and you can see this nice little ABC in here. I'm going to come in with this ruler in here and very simply just draw this nice little projection in here up to the top of this market and it's made this nice little retracement so you can see we've got a little ABC pattern in here and the markets come back and it's fallen back quite significantly from the highs all the way back down it's about a $2100 move not including commissions and fees from the high to the low now as we come in here I want to show you soybeans soybeans has done basically the same thing we come in here with our one two three tool just draw our little 123 ABC projection tool. It came right up here to uh, 161.8. And you can see that this mark has now made a nice, beautiful little retracement off of this uh, peak here. Again, if we draw our dollar calculator in there from the top to the bottom or where it's currently trading, that's about a $2,100 move on the daily chart, not including commissions and fees. Now, what I want to show you next is coming in here to corn. Now, corn, look what corn's done. Corn has not quite made the drop yet that the other two markets have. That's wheat, that's soybeans, and that's corn. So corn in here, we're still anticipating that nice little drop or the blow off an additional downside potential on this market. Now this market's not as big dollar wise, but if we come back to basically the same type of pattern that we saw on the other two markets, soybeans and wheat, we could see basically a thousand dollar move in there off of that high peak back into this uh, lower region. Of course, not including commissions and fees. But this is just a quick idea of what we can do when we're looking to trade the leader. So we have leaders. This is wheat's leading the market, it seems, and soybeans following. And corn has not yet made the turn yet. So this is an opportunity for us to take a short position on corn. Now, if you don't want to come in and you don't want to exactly, you know, uh, hit this with a contract, you could come down to a smaller time frame, and we could do that, of course. Uh, alternatively, very easily, we could just come in here and we could uh, price out an option. We could just come in and we could buy ourselves a uh, put. Let's buy a put. So we're going to buy a put in here. And a put, you can see uh, right at the money put is about $268. We could go ahead and we could buy us one of those. And if we're confident enough uh, in the market, we'd come in here and we could sell a a call above the market to help us pay for the one we bought. And that's about $143, uh, $200 right in there uh, that we could pick up and we could sell a call to help us pay for the one that we bought looking for a pullback against the previous trend based on the fact that the other two markets in this in this uh, category, soybeans and wheat, have already made a pretty good retracement. Okay, as you can see, a couple of days ago we talked about family members, those other markets that have already moved for us wheat and soybeans and so here we are we made our trade on corn which is the follower and as you can see this uh, option strategy is working out very well for us we have a Fibonacci ruler drawn in here and the anticipation of where we expected that market to come back based on the fact that the family members had already done so so we had a precursor or we were given a heads up that this market might drop too and this is why we were able to take advantage of that market and you can see right now that this uh, the corn uh, option that we sold is up uh, sixty eight dollars and the one that we bought is up two hundred eighty seven dollars and of course we still have some time left in this market we're going to see if this doesn't pan out and give us a little bit more money on some of this uh, uh, additional downside potential we'll watch the other family members and see where they're at and see if they start to turn and start to rally and then we can anticipate corn to follow in the same shoe steps and that's just a quick way of looking at family members and a way to use them to identify when a market is going to move and then trade the follower. Hi, my name is Lan Turner, founder of TradeMenders.com. Please subscribe to our day trading channel and make sure to click the bell so you get notified when we post new current market videos and trade recommendations. I've also linked a couple of my favorite videos here, so please enjoy the next video.